One of the other refinements I'm trying to make to my uh, brewing process is doing oxygen-free or closed transfers. Uh, since I do small batches, I use uh, for monster fermenters, specifically the three-gallon ones for most of what I do. I also have some little big mouth bubblers that are great for, for gallon or slightly larger batches. Um, and so of course, uh, and it's difficult to find a, or I don't know one that exists, a pressure rated fermenter that's small. And I don't, you know, at this point want or need a, a firmzilla or something like that. Cool as they are. I just don't, <laughs> not, I don't make that volume of beer. So, um, I did have watched several videos about this online that the for monsters actually can take a little bit of pressure. Uh, they're made by a company called the vintage shop and, um, the guy who does their YouTube videos, uh, has one doing something similar to what I'm about to do, uh, and basically said they're, you know, good pressure up to five PSI for transferring only, you know, one to two is probably uh, plenty. But basically the concept is you take a solid for monster lid um, and drill a hole in it and then you put a gas uh, post in it and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then what, what during um, fermentation, uh, hook up a quick disconnect with a blow off tube into, you know, mason jar of star sand or whatever, um, as opposed to having an airlock. Uh, you could probably use a spunning valve. My concern with using a spunning valve would be if you get, you know, kind of a, a fair amount of activity and stuff gets up in the spunning valve. I may try that at some point. I haven't, the couple of batches I've done in these three gallon for monsters, uh, so far, they, they do kind of get up towards the top a little bit, but, um, anyway, so this seems like a cool thing to do. I'm going to do one post. I've also seen people do two posts. So you can do kind of like close transfer without this, without the spigot, the for monsters I currently have, have spigots on them. So my, um, idea with the close transfer is just going to be put a little bit of pressure in the top after fermentation is done, open up the spigot, um, into the uh, beer line on a keg and handle it that way. So, um, anyway, I have the wrong drill bit on here. Bear with me one second. And specifically the sizes um, that I that seem correct to me. Basically, you want to drill a hole that's the same size or maybe slightly smaller than the threads on your uh, gas post. Um, this seems to be slightly smaller to me. We'll see how this goes. I got a couple of these lids, so if this doesn't work. And they're cheap. I mean, that's the other great thing about these fermenters. The, the parts are all available, and they're pretty inexpensive. I think this may have been 4 bucks or something on uh, more beer. And so I am using, it looks like a three eighths inch drill bit that seems to be slightly smaller. I did take a tape, tape measure to this earlier and that seems to be about right. So we'll get that put in the drill here. If this will work, the dr only drill I could find is one of the smaller ones that we have. I think that's gonna work. Okay, so we've got a three eighths inch drill bit in here. Um, and the vintage shop, uh, video on this, uh, he did make the point that you want to put the hole kind of like midway between the edge and the, um, mark you can see there, uh, where their, uh, lids with a hole in it, where you put a number 10 bung, uh, in there, stopper in there. Um, you want to put it midway between the edge and that, and he specifically said these injection points, you don't want to put it on those either. Probably kind of weakens it a little bit. So, uh, for this one, I'm just going to kind of take aim here and hopefully do okay. All right, here goes nothing. Took a little bit more effort than I would have guessed. These lids are kind of thick. I'll do some cleanup underneath there. It's the first time I've used this uh, setup, so I'm trying to make sure I'm getting stuff in camera there. Okay, that came out pretty clean though. All right, so with that in place, then the idea, hopefully I didn't get all the way through to the <laughs> workbench here. Um, with that in place, the idea then is you screw this through, which yeah, I'm gonna need a bigger hole. We'll redo that in a second. And then, um, you know, basically tighten it up on uh, underneath. Um, I did get the gas posts only come with one ring. I got extras of these. Um, I think they're just called, I want to say they're called post to body uh, gaskets. Uh, you can just get on, you know, more beer, whatever. Uh, just so that way I've got a gasket on the top and the bottom. Make sure it's airtight. 
Um, I'm going to hit pause for a second and get another drill bit. Okay, we're back. Uh, it turns out a half inch uh, drill bit. When you hold it up there, looks like it's a little bit too big, but that turns out to work out well. And ideally this, um, you know, you'd get one of those drill bits that has a little bit more of a point on it. I think that would uh, make, make the drilling a little bit cleaner. Did not happen to have one of those right in front of me and I'm impatient. So you can see we got a half inch hole there now. Um, probably did a little bit of cleanup there, but basically then this will screw into there. And it is nice and tight, which is what you want. So that's good. That'll screw into there like that. And the gasket, you know, will um, if, even if there is a little bit of a gap there, um, we'll take care of that. And then basically this uh, other gasket would go on the other side. Uh, seal it up even nicer. And then the nut. And obviously I won't tighten this up a whole lot right now, but basically then you have a closed um, lid for your uh, for Monster Fermenter. Um, and again, I'm not interested in doing pressure fermentation. My interest here is once you put the yeast in the fermenter, I don't have to touch it. Um, and when I want to transfer it to a keg, I just put a little bit of gas on here. Um, I have the um, spigot at the bottom, open that up, and then um, I'll do a more complete video when I do it for the first time. But then you do, you know, uh, then this would go into the beer uh, so the out essentially is a little bit counterintuitive, but the beer line on the, or the beer posts on the, uh, keg, and then you would let the, uh, pressure come back out the other side. Um, probably a spunning valve would be fine for that, um, uh, for that purpose. But anyway, that's how to, uh, make a little bit of a different kind of lid for your fur monster that can be used for closed transfers.